Hey there, everybody. So we learned in the last video about how to take the square roots of negative numbers and how they introduce these numbers that contain the letter I, which is the imaginary unit, which represents the square root of negative one. So now that we know about I, uh, we're gonna talk about different types of numbers that involve I and don't involve I. So we've got what are called purely real numbers. And purely real numbers are numbers like the ones you're used to dealing with, like two and negative three and pi and a billion, which I am going to write out now because I said it and I'm doing it with every other number. These are all purely real numbers. They're a member of what's called the real number set. And remember when we wrote this notation, x is an element of the real number set, it was implied that x would be one of these real numbers, which would be any of those real numbers. And these are examples of those. Now, Purely imaginary numbers are numbers like you get when you're taking the square root of a negative number. So the square root of negative 4 would be 2 times the square root of negative 1, which is i. The square root of negative 16 would be 4 times the square root of negative 1, which is i. The square root of 32 would be, we'll work this with negative 32, would be square root of 32 times the square root of negative 1. This would be square root of 2 with 5 thirds times square root of negative 1 and then this would be 4 from those two i because the square root of negative 1 and the square root of 2 left behind these are all examples of purely imaginary numbers now there are numbers called complex numbers and in order to understand complex numbers you need to know they come in two parts complex numbers will have a real part which is purely real and an imaginary part, which is purely imaginary. So you may see things like 5 plus 7i, or 2 minus 3i. Those are individual complex numbers. Now, so is 5 plus 0i, meaning a purely real number, like 5, is a complex number. And 7 fix that because I don't want to write it in that order. 0 plus 7i, which is 7i. That's a purely imaginary number. But all of these are complex numbers because they have this real part and this imaginary part. So any number that can be written as a plus bi, where a and b are numbers, is a complex number. Now, you may look at this and go, how are these single numbers? These are two things just being added or subtracted from each other. Really simple. If I take it back into the real number world and say, hey, 3 plus the square root of 2. If I asked you to combine those without a calculator, you wouldn't have any way of doing that. They're not like terms. You just say it's 3 plus the square root of 2. But if I asked you to give me a decimal approximation for it, the square root of 2 is about 1.414. So 3 plus that would be about 4.1. That, 4.414. Can't get my eraser. There it is. Now, these are two parts, but they make up a single number. The same thing goes up here. These are two parts, but they make up a single number. We just can't combine them because we can't change the imaginary part to a decimal and therefore combine it with the real part. So whenever we talk about complex numbers, we're talking about part numbers that can have two parts, one real without the eye, one imaginary with the eye, and when you put them together, they make a single.